Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangs, and I welcome you guys to- that, That's very rude, Balkov. I'm trying to do the introductions here. Like, be quiet for a moment, please. Alright, so what is it? Well, uh, it's Lords of Magic. Let's play Lords of Magic as Death. I welcome you guys back to it. So, my name is Mangs. Uh, in the last part, we established control of our Great Temple, and we cleared out some dwellings, and now we're kind of just waiting for followers to arrive in five turns. So we're gonna build an army. I don't know what kind of army composition I would like to do. Normally you can go tree, 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 which is basically you go tree infantry, tree uh, horsemen, and tree javeliners. But I must say I'm more of a fan of dark halberdiers than I am horsemen. The thing about Lords of Magic, uh, the thing, uh, something that I didn't explain to you guys last time was, horsemen are actually built to counter range units. It's kind of like a rock paper scissor thing. Infantry counter horse units. Horse units counter range units. Range units counter infantry. It's uh, it's just and, and not just in the way they they work. They actually have an innate attack bonus. Uh, cavalry actually has a 25% resistance to missile attacks, uh, and infantry do has a 25% attack bonus against cavalry. They're essentially, like a 25% weapon triangle that goes all uh, goes you know in a in a triangle. So the best composition you can have is a tree infantry, tree horsemen, tree range units. Because that means you have a composition that can deal with pretty much anything you face. But with that, I find that the halberdiers are a lot stronger than the horsemen. The horsemen are a little bit frail, whereas the halberdiers are very sturdy. So you can use, you can have like a wall of halberdier, halberdiers, and then you can have like maybe maybe six javeliners behind them. And I think that may be what I would like to do. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go four halberdiers, five ranged units, maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll have, like, one squad of horsemen so I can, like, move around and take down range units. I don't want too many horses because I just... The Death Cavalry, while they're really hard-hitting, they're really frail. They have very low defense. They die so easily, so they're not really good in a sustained battle. They're good, like, hit and run, hit and runners. Anyway, I'm gonna go kill this, uh... I'm gonna go kill this thief now. So, where is he? He is level... I don't know why, but the enemy thieves are always such ridiculously high level. So, I am just gonna... He's probably gonna... He's probably going to go in stealth mode. I'll sneak up on them. So, I'll just attack the thief. Hi. There we go. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. Fuck. He ran away. Oh well, I got a little bit of spoils from it at the very least. I don't have any spells that can keep him like locked up, sadly. I think what I'll do is I'll do some research with Balkov for the time being. Because now you actually get to see Balkov research, and he researched pretty quickly. But I think I would actually like to get Hmm. I think I should probably finish my research on Ray Skeleton, and then I'm gonna go over to Primal Fair instead. Meanwhile, let's do some more scouting with Mr. Borlack. Hello, Borlack. Let's go and check the Kingdom of Order, shall we? Ba -ba -ba. Probably turn up the uh, game speed up to 29. Let's go and steal some of the order building, shall we? What is it? So yeah, I'm just gonna wait here in the capital for four days until I get my followers. And hopefully I'll get a couple, that would be nice. And then I'm gonna build, yeah, one set of horsemen, rest javeliners and, uh, and, hal and halberdiers. Alright, oh, there's the Lord of Order. Is he a paladin? No, he's a wizard. Howell, escorting the Lord of Order. Yeah, it looks like they have a wizard lord. Let's. Oh, we don't want this. How may my Are they gonna attack me? No, they're leaving me alone for now. So if you stand outside their capital for a little while, you'll start to accumulate information. But I'm not. Uh, I'm not really going to. Can I? Oh, what the? That was not what I wanted to do at all. Uh oh. Uh oh. I just... I'm out of here. I did not want to do that. I don't know why that happened. How may my I was just going to spy. Okay, I'm, I'm out of here. How may my Goodbye. How may my <laughs> I'm a runaway now. <laughs> oh, oh, he's coming to get me. 
<laughs> He's coming to get me. Marauding party has taken the death great temple. What? What is it? What is it? Your fucking great temple got taken, dude. This is inexcusable. If uh, my fuck, my followers are gonna arrive in one day, I need to. Okay, I'll take this temple back now. Based, uh, based force yes. march or a funeral march, but yeah, that could have been nasty because you may not know this, but if you lose your great temple, um, you're not gonna get any followers. So if your great temple gets taken one day before your followers arrive, what's gonna end up happening is <laughs> you're not gonna get any followers. That's gonna really cripple you. Alright, we gotta be very careful here. Our lizard lord is starting to uh, get a little bit stronger. Uh. Yeah, that was that was low. Hey, I got a level. Sweet. What is it? Yes, sir, we should really fuck off with the thief here. Gonna re-enter stealth and run away. Let's go and spy on the water people. Are they gonna try to the Lord of Yeah, he took, he took by the gold mine. He's <laughs> they are chasing me actually. They're really diligent. Alright, six followers. Sweet. If you follow the road like this, you, you move a lot faster, as you can see. But you gotta make sure your cursor actually follows the ro uh, follows it exactly. Alright, anyway, let's uh, do a funeral march. So we can get back into the library. Alright, so we got six followers right now. So we'll get one set of horsemen. We'll get four halberdiers. And that leaves us with three more javeliners. So we'll have four sets of javeliners. All right. So we should probably, yeah, we know, we want we want four more javeliners. One, two, three, four. I think. I'm not completely sure. I'm going. I'm going to play it a little bit safe for the time being. All right. Let's take a look at the Lord of Water. See what they're up to. We're really pissing off everyone here. It's amazing. No, that was indeed that was indeed everything. Okay, so we have one set of uh, horsemen. We can do this. I think we'll have these guys in the middle right here. Yeah, this works. This right here works just fine. We'll have the halberdiers in the back. I'm sorry, the uh, javeliners in the back. I think this is a good composition. I think this works out quite well. Let's go and clear out some caves. Um, probably just level one caves. I'm just gonna auto calc. There's no point. They're gonna be so easy. Like they're not even worth my time. I should probably have some units defending the capital, though. Maybe I should have some skeletons or something. I think I'm gonna have uh, three skeletons in the capital just to defend it against the intruders. I should probably do the same thing with the Great Temple, once I have enough crystals. Alright, level 3, we're gonna do this one manually. Okay, they're attacking me, that's good. Uh, let's see, let's do Visage of Horror. Blood will flow. We gotta bring our Lord into this as well, naturally. All right, let's buff our let's buff our assassin lord. Oh, 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 oh. All right, we got to be careful with our dark riders because they're really frail. We want we want our dark lord, uh, riders to target the uh, archers. Look at this army right here. That's an army. Oh, 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 oh. Balkov gained a level. That's sweet. Can we take another cave? Yeah, we can move. There's not really any point in staying behind and resting when you're playing as death. Alright, let's just clear out all of our dwellings. I'm gonna auto- What the f- Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me right now? It's the Pegasus bug. Okay, I'm gonna auto cock this battle. The fucking Pegasus bug, ladies and gentlemen. Like, you know what? You know what? That was actually- um, Terrible. I, lo I took a lot of damage from. You see, you shouldn't always auto cock because the, the results are not great. What you saw there, ladies and gentlemen, was the dreaded. 
You saw the dreaded Pegasus bug. That happens sometimes in level 1 dealing. You'll spawn a Pegasus. Um, I don't know why, it's just something with the game's code. Something it happens. Sometimes it happens. Because dwellings are randomized. And a Pegasus is, of course, the legendary life creature. I think I can take it down. If I play my cards properly, I think I can kill it. I just gotta be very careful. Because I have a pretty strong army here. Blood will flow. That was the sound of Balkov uh, stealing a life with his scythe there. Alright, if I'm going to kill that Pegasus, I'm gonna have to go and heal up my, uh... I'm gonna have to go and heal up my army first. Oh shit, I forgot about my assassin. A neutral dog. A marauding party. Let's kill him. Woof, woof. I'm gonna kill that dog. I'm a, I'm a terrible human being. But yeah, if you fight near the water, you will actually have water present in the battlefield. This is... You don't... You didn't get to see that a lot. I am a... I am an awful human being. Absolutely despicable how terrible I am. I'm so sorry, guys. But I just wanted to kill that dog. Don't unsubscribe from my channel, please. It was an evil dog. It had rabies. I, I put it down. It was kindness, okay? It was kindness. If I hadn't put that dog down, it would have led a life of, of, of suffering out in the wilderness. I, it was an act of kindness. I am death. I deal death to people. It's what I do. It's a, I'm merciful. All right, so uh, we're gonna go over to Primal Fear right now. Oh my God, two months. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Walk Among Us takes two months as well. Spawn Cave takes two months. Oh my God, death spells are so costly to research. Six months. All right, well, Primal Fear it is then. Yeah, as you can see, um, death spells takes a shit long time to research because they're good. All right. Okay, so, uh, we gotta be very careful about this. Uh, there's the Pegasus. So, what we wanna do here is we probably just want to attack it with everything that we have. The end is near. Yeah, probably. The end is near. I wish there was a way you could deselect your units on this game. To my knowledge, there is no such way. Okay, so let's start off with Primal Fair. And then I say we just... We don't want to buff the Pegasus, that's for sure. I mean, we should probably just shoot bolts at it, to be quite honest, until we're out of mana. Okay, so what we want to do right now is we want to do an aim shot. And we want to be very careful with our assassin. And we probably just want to Berserk, I think. I don't- I, I wish there was a way to, like, mass Berserk, but you have to, like, do it individually, sadly. So if you just go Berserk on that guy, it will stay behind here. And we can probably Berserk with our Lord as well. We might be able to just kill him before he does anything. Yeah, this- oh my god, look at that. <laughs> oh my god, he died Quickly, but you saw he one-shotted everyone. <laughs> oh my god. That's nice. I'm not sure how much experience you get for that. If he's... I don't know if a Pegasus is still treated as having, like... is If it's still treated as a level 1 creature, or if you get experience as if it was a legendary creature, but... But yeah, things die quickly in this game, so it's usually pretty easy to deal with. I don't think I want to kill a water fort just yet. That sounds pretty nasty. But yeah, I like this army composition right here. I think it works. I think it works pretty well. Level 1 cave. I'm just going to auto-calculate that. Didn't lose anything. Dwellings by the sea are usually of a higher level, I've noticed. Alright, let's see what the Lord of Water is doing. Not much. Got five more followers. Let's put them to work. Yes, I'm, I'm 
Mr. Skeleton, I'm just putting my guys to work. Thank you very much. I got two to spare. So I should probably look into upgrading my capital. Um, I can probably, yeah, I can do that right now if I uh, if I take some followers of fame. I can upgrade it right now. That works. That will allow me to upgrade my mage tower as well. Level three hat. Let's try this one. Can't be can't be worse than a Pegasus, right? Ooh, they got a they got a hero. All right, let's just fucking assault these guys. The end is the end is near. All right, we'll have Balkov just throw some spells at the wizard. I don't think uh, what level is he? He's level two. I don't think he, a level two air mage has much. Actually, I think we can probably use Balkov's ward ward now because he's lower level than us. Yep, that's how you do that. Again, you see how quickly these fucking horsemen dies? They're so fucking squishy. The halberdiers, on the other hand, are very, very enduring. And there we go. Everyone leveled up. 8-6. Yeah, they're, their stats really go up a lot when they level. And again, I took a lot of damage. I'm gonna have to go back to my capital to heal up now. Boom. So yeah, you, you expend a lot of crystals being death, and that's probably why Balkot's Sight gives you three crystals per day. Simply because... How may my <laughs> I'm just gonna grab this this thing. Uh, How may my see if I can get out of here, because I know that if I go to the left, I'm gonna be boxed in, so... Oh shit, I think my thief is gonna die now. <laughs> What is it? shit? Let's go heal up. Do we have enough crystals? No, we do not have enough crystals. We might as well just stay inside uh, Molder. <laughs> I thought I thought the capital was named Decay. No, oh, capital city of Molder. Look at that. Your exploits have earned many an admirer. All right, so now let's go continue. We don't want to attack this water tower. That that sounds very bad. I think we want to go take the, take on this cave. Actually, level four cave. That's higher than anything else we've dealt with so far. Oh, look at that. Sprites. Alright, I think we just all focus... The end is yeah, let's all just focus them. Start off with the Primal Fear, and then just Balkot's Word, I think. Oh, we can raise a skeleton now. The unit is permanently raised a skeleton. Now, you can raise skeletons, and they actually, they actually persist in your army, which is kind of cool. What level is Balkoth right now? He's level 3. He can only use his Balkoth's worth on these guys. There we go. Oh, some of, my, some of our Javeliners are in front. That's not good. There we go. That was relatively easy. Really? There's a second layer to this dungeon. Ah, let's go. Let's go, this, let's go do the second layer. I don't know why it wants you to do this. It's really weird. Like, why why can't it just tell you, do you want to proceed? Now you have to, like, physically move into the second level. But it is so that you can get a chance to cast buff spells and shit. I do believe Visage of Horror is still active. And it will be active here as well, so. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, it's still active. No, it's not. What the hell? Really? Huh. Okay, I'm out of mana, so there's not a, like, a lot I can do. Oh, they're just gonna attack me instantly off the bat, so let's just go. We gotta be careful so we don't lose anything now. Let's do our rally troop. Okay, we gotta pay close attention to the health of our dudes right now. Oh, we are almost losing our horsemen. You better... You better run. Oh. Our javeliner is going down as well. There we go. Halbert's ready. Let's go. Ah, shit. They're really taking a lot of damage right now. This guy needs to fuck off. Oh, shit. Run, run, run. Blood will flow. Please run. Please run. Don't die. Please don't die. I don't want to lose any units right now. I've done so well. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Uh, yep. Did it. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh my god, that was tough. That was close. Holy shit. Oh boy. 
Uh, so yeah, our javelin is just leveled up. Awesome. 9-9. Nine, nine. They're so strong. 12-6. As you can see, Assassins does a shitload of damage, but their range are so low. Balkoth on the other hand, 11-18, because he's Balkoth lol. Lolkoth. Alright, uh, I'm gonna just fuck off from here now. Goodbye, water. Let's go down and check out life. Mm -hmm. Let's check out what they're doing. Hello? I should have explored more with the thief when I did my order game. Countless have died to count them of order, and countless will continue to try. What is it? Oh, what's that? Rare. I gotta check that Camtasia still recording, because I didn't like that sound. Alright. I was indeed still recording. I don't like it when Camtasia makes that sound, because it's like, blah, blah, recording failed, uh, and then I would still be playing and losing out on a lot of shit, and that would be really bad. So yeah, we're just going back to heal. As you can see, you need crystals like crazy when you play a staff. Yeah, we want to definitely follow the road here. There we go. Hello, life. How are you doing? Life, obviously, don't really like death, as you can see. Yeah, let's let's fuck off from here, shall we? To battle. Now, what sucks right here is that when you're moving on grass, which is not native terrain, you can see my units are slowed. Death does not fight well on the grassy plains of life. They get a huge movement speed penalty. They're greatly slowed. So it's, like, difficult terrain for them. Are they just gonna keep attacking me now? That happens sometimes. They just chain attack you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shit, 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 shit. Ah. Uh. Ah. <laughs> no. Borlack. Ripping pepperonis, Borlack. You did well. Oh. Man, is that my brewery? No, that was not my brewery. Man, that, that was, uh, Borlack did well. Maybe we should make another Borlack. Or, what we could do is we could also, uh, Jesus, that's loud. We could, we could make a bat, because bats can fly over the water. We could also make a ship if we wanted to. Let's just continue healing up. We need 107 crystals to fully heal. But yeah, as I said, difficult to keep scouts alive in Lords of Magic. They have a tendency to die really fast. How may we assist you? See, having flying scouts is a big benefit because you can fly over the ocean. The Lord of Order has taken a crystal mine. I'm pretty sure that's not my crystal mine now. That's the one of the crystal mines I took over. Ah. Yeah, they, these are the water ships. They're the best ships in the game, obviously. They're fast. Look how fucking fast this thing is. I mean, I'm pretty fast too. Let's kill it. <laughs> oh my god. Instantly run into like a water galley. Lords of Magic, why do you hate scouts so much? Alright, so not right now, I think we're just gonna maximize our... Again, we're gonna maximize our fame output. Even though crystals would probably be more beneficial to us right now. We're still going to do this. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can clear out some more dwellings. I think once we're done clearing out all these dwellings, we're probably gonna go and... See if we could kill the Lord of Fire? That'd be kind of cool. But my units need to be higher level before I could contemplate doing something like that. Da, da, da. Hmm. I think I'm going to do this. I feel like that formation makes a lot more sense. All right, cave level five. Here we go. Yes, my lord. Right. Yes, my master. What, my what are we facing right here? We're facing a wild army for the most part. Let's just visage of horror these guys. And I say we just buff our guys. What? No 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 no
Don't yes. balk us, word yarn, guys. The Jesus. Oh my god, can you guys fucking believe the that? I just balked word at my own dude. <laughs> Alright, meanwhile, these guys are gonna ride around and focus the archers. There we go. That's what you wanna do with your horseman. You wanna ride around like this. Oh! I just lost my thief. Just lost my thief. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Can't believe I fucking Balkot swarded my own dude, though. Jesus. I think maybe what I should do, instead of starting with Visage of Horror, I should go with uh, Unholy Ward first. Visage is four mana, so... If I do this... No! Stop that! I'm such a fucking moron. Seven, five. Okay, if I do this... And then I do this. That works. Will that actually prompt them to attack? No, they only actually attack you if you... <laughs> Funnily enough, they only attack you if you cast Visage and Horror on them. If you cast them on yourself, they don't perceive it as an aggressive spell and they don't do anything. Alright, All right, let's fuck let's fuck them up. The end is near. Except for my horsemen. I want them to... Uh, I want them to ride around and flank. We need to be careful with our Lizard Lord. These tigers are very nasty. Yeah, you you go and you go and kill these guys. We need to kill this tiger. No! How? How do I lose my thief every single fucking time? This makes no sense. Okay, this is starting to piss me off right now. How do I lose my thief? Okay, so now I'm not gonna be stupid and buckle swarf my own guy. Alright, we need to we need to have them attack us. We need to have our guys together, and then we need to have our horsemen in, in position. They'll need to go up here. All right, so we'll start by buffing our dudes. We have, at the moment, we have 15 mana. So we can go Unholy Word on our Lizard. We can go Unholy Word on this guy. Come on. There we go, we have nine mana left. Seven mana left. There we go. The sound doesn't always display, but and then we'll cast Visage of Horror on these guys, like so. Okay. Let's get fucking ready for this shit. Yes, my master. Alright. Alright. Fucking charge. And then we'll have our javeliners. The end is near. Not not you. The end is near. We'll split our spares out among these guys. And then we'll need to make sure our horse riders are in position. Ah, there we go. We can completely flank these guys right now. Alright, this works. Now we just gotta be careful so we don't lose our fucking assassin. Careful, careful. Halberdiers are going down. Our dark horsemen are now running into their flanks like so. Perfect. Okay, we got one halberdier which who's almost dead. Let's pull him back. Yes, my master. Oh, this guy is very close to dying, but he's he'll be fine. So this is what you want to do with your horse units. You want to have them come in behind and rape the archers in the ass. What do we get? Fire and air warriors enjoy enjoy. I I always thought it was so cute these little descriptions. They enjoy one attack and one armor. But yeah, no, only fire and air warriors apparently. So no can do for us. That was tough. That was actually really tough. I don't think we have what it takes to deal with uh, the Lord of Fire just yet. I wish we did. 
but I don't think we do so because if we open up the tab right here, we can see our military power compared to fire is uh, leagues apart. We definitely want our units to be at least level 3 or higher before we do anything else. So. It really sucks how you have to go back and like constantly heal up with as death, but it's just a drawback of having strong units, I suppose. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this part. When we come back, we shall continue to level up our forces in preparation for our assault on the Fire Kingdom, since they're so close right here. And it's going to be tough. Looks like the Lord of Fire is hanging out in the barracks right here. So uh, I might actually also... Jesus, that's loud. Uh, I might also send Balkoth into this uh, tower to level up my Necromancers a little bit. We'll see what I end up doing. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this part. Please give it a like and a comment. Sh shut up, I'm talking. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!